Hi Libra, welcome to your love connection reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, this is a love connection intended to be for a connection of some kind that you have with a person. Um, don't necessarily have to be inclusive. Um, you could be dating. You could mutually know that you kind of like each other or something like that. They have to know who you are. So you definitely um, have to have that connection in some way, shape, or form. If you are also single, you can also check out the singles reading I do every month, and maybe you will resonate with that also in your um, playlist. Our list will be below in the description box, so please feel free to check that out. Tons of information down there. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. If you'd like to send a gift or uh, donate to the channel, all that information is below. All right, Libra, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous new year. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. So with this deck here, I will get, um, we could get a sign element or planet. And if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here, or if this part doesn't resonate for you, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus for Libra. That one's sticking it. Oh, fire. I saw that in the pre-shuffle. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries, and if you're not, totally fine, but fire is a very go-getter, passionate kind of energy, a lot of drive and ambition, um, and that kind of energy. So it could be a very fiery, passionate connection that you're having right now. I mean, we'll see. So what I'm going to do with this deck here, first thing is get a overall love connection energy or connection energy between you and your person at this time, whoever you have in mind at this time. And keep in mind this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have Libra in any of those placements. Okay, so let's get an overall love connection energy between Libra and their person at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. And I say at this time, even though this is dated for February, I do consider all my readings um, timeless. So I have a reliable, hmm, eight and three, so that is um, 11. And 11 is being on the right spiritual path, divinely guided, going in the right direction. That is half of the two and flame number, um, but if you do add that together, that's two, and that is about unity. So I feel like very reliable connection here. Hmm. Can rely on one another, very trustworthy kind of energy, perhaps. Well, we'll see. So what I'm going to do now, Libra, if you're new to my readings, is I'm going to pull uh, two energies. And for now, I'm going to say this side is you, this side is your person. And I'm going to pull a card for each side, how you're both feeling about the connection, feeling about each other at this time. So can we have some energies for Libra and their person? Spirit, please. Thank you. Okay. So that's definitely one there, and that's too many. Can we have one more? Okay, so if at any time you feel like the roles can be reversed or the energy needs to be switched and flip-flopped around, please do that in anywhere throughout the reading. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not your reading, if it doesn't fit, doesn't make sense for you, then it's not your reading and don't try to make it fit. So don't leave a ton of, ton of comments how it doesn't resonate for you because I'll just delete them. Obviously, if you're watching it and it's not resonating, it's not your reading. So don't try to make it fit or leave me a comment that you know, I don't know how to read and it doesn't make sense. Well, then it's not your reading. It's just that simple. So, <laughs> okay. So, and I don't want to sway anyone from away from my channel or my readings, but I'm just being honest that not every reading is for every person. So everyone needs to understand that. And if it's not resonating for you and if it's not your messages, it's not your reading. Hold out for the next reading or go back and watch past readings. And maybe something in the future will resonate for you. So, I'm here to give the messages to the people that need it the most. So let's see what we have. Okay, Libra. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have on this side. We have sleep. Hmm. 32, 5, which is change. Somebody's needing rest. Well, if it's a very fiery, passionate connection, well, then I could see how someone needs rest. <laughs> and then we have on this side, we have commit to happiness, 34, which is 7. 7 is being on the right path, divinely guided spiritual number. So someone needs rest on this side, and some, this side wants to commit to happiness. So I don't know. See what's going on here. 
And on the bottom of the deck, we have modify, which is 20, which is two, which is again is about unity. And modify, you know, is making adjustments, you know, compromise, collaboration, teamwork. I just get the words like compromise and like um, adjusting, making adjustments, things like that. And I know that sounds odd for a love reading, but <clears throat> maybe you need both compromise in some way or adjust things or something like that. All right, so let's clarify this energy here for Libra. Libra, Libra. At this time, Spirit, please, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for all your support. If you're a new subscriber, if you've tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading, however you supported me in the channel, thank you, thank you. It's truly appreciated, and I could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you to everybody. Okay, so let's get some energy now for this side for sleep. Whether that's you or your person, somebody's needing rest, somebody's feeling, I don't know, worn out or something. Some sort of change here. So we have death. Hmm. Oh. So it's about something coming to an end and then transformation. And we have the Empress. Wow. Somebody may have just gone through something here, whether this is you or your person. I'm saying this is you, Libra, but um, somebody has gone through something here. It was the end of a situation, and maybe it was very uh, draining, and that's why you're needing rest. And Empress is like nurturing yourself, knowing your self-value, your worth. Emperor or Empress, doesn't matter. Um, you know, valuing your health and knowing you need to rest, recuperate, rejuvenate. From, I think, something that you uh, just been through or ended. So let's see what this commit to happiness is on this side. So Ten of Wands on this side. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. We have the Empress and the Emperor. We have a divine couple here. So this side wants to lay down burdens about the, this connection and just commit to happiness. You know, anything that's weighing down this connection or not serving this connection, wanting to lay that all down, put it all to rest, take lead, take charge, take control of the situation here, and just commit to the happiness of the situation. Ten is an ending, but there's always a new beginning. Um, I'm not getting that this is a situation that's ending. I'm feeling like these are two separate energies, like this side, whether it's you or your person, just gone through some... Uh, tiring draining ending transforming out of that now knowing your self-value and worth knowing you needed to nurture care for yourself taking that resting rejuvenating uh, kind of energy and this side here wants to take lead in the situation and this uh, connection move it forward and lay down any burdens that is not serving the connection and just wants to commit to the happiness of this connection hmm, okay so let's see uh, what the actual situation is here for you, Libra. So we have the Knight of Wands, the Five of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like, you no, know, right in the center of the spread here is the Fool. So wanting to take a leap of faith, jumping right in, taking your fresh start. Yeah, I feel like over here, Libra, if this is you or your person, uh, five of cups, you know, that's a loss. So there was some kind of loss here, whether you actually went through an actual death of a loved one or just the ending of a situation or a relationship or something. You know, there was sad loneliness, hurt with the five of cups, you know, energy. And the Knight of Wands, very fiery, passionate. That's that fire, fiery, passionate, go get our energy. You know, maybe this was a very, um, whatever situation you were in. There was a lot of work to this, to get out of this or move forward from this or move on from this. And it was just draining because you see that Knight of Wands is very go-getter, like go, go, go kind of energy. And now, you know, with that sleep, like I, I need my rest now. But the energy is here between the two of you. And this is right between the two of you for a fresh start, new leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine. So let's get a couple more for the other side here. Hermit. So they're also going in retreat mode, uh, doing some inner journey work, trying to find their way, their path, their light. But here's the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, they got two major arcana on their side. 
And, you know, this is the Wheel of Fortune stepping in here. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Um, kind of energy. Something meant to be. Something going in a better direction. So they definitely want this to go in a better direction. They've done that inner journey soul work. And they know from deep within. This is my person. This is my soulmate. you got the emperor and the empress. And I did say to inflame at the beginning. Divine couple here. So they're, So you see the hermit looking at the fool. Like facing each other. Like I'm ready for this fresh new start. This leap of faith. And the wheel is here to bring it in. And they're ready to lay down any burdens not serving this connection and take the lead, take charge and commit to the happiness of this uh, union, of this uh, connection. And you both want this leap of faith, I feel. And I also feel, you know, you've gotten your rest, perhaps you've transformed out of something that you lost. And now you are ready also to take that fiery, passionate action forward into this new leap of faith also. So however that resonates for you. So let's get some, I had these fall on the floor, some advice for this connection, Libra. So we have the Nine of Cups, so joy, happiness, fulfillment, wish fulfillment, Eight of Pentacles working on this, and the Page of Pentacles, solid offer coming in. Solid offer coming in here. Wanting to work on it for the long term. Um, it's solid, it's stable, it's grounded. It's wish fulfillment. It's joy, happiness. Wow. Okay, let's get one more. Two of one. So making plans, decisions, moving forward for the future. There's that fiery, passionate energy. Making plans and decisions, moving forward for the future. Making, you know, solid, stable communication offer to work on it, to wish fulfillment. And committing to happiness. This is joy, happiness, and fulfillment in every single way. Wishes coming true. So committing to that happiness. Wow. Okay. Very reliable. I feel like very trustworthy, reliable, compromising energy here, but yet fiery, passionate energy between the two of you. It's stable. It's grounded. Okay. So let's get a possible outcome here. So we got the moon energy. The Tower and the Four of Swords. Oh, boy, what's going on here? <sighs> so the moon, you know, is kind of like not seeing things clearly, but that things always come to light. And then you got the Tower moment, which can be a breakdown, shake-up, epiphany, realization, surprise. Four of Swords, you know, there's that resting, rejuvenating, you know, contemplating kind of energy. Hmm. Something's going to come to light here, which causes like a big epiphany, aha moment. But then there's rest in here. So I don't know. I feel like I need a couple more clarifiers to see why the possible outcome is this energy. Well, Libra, please. So we have the Eight of Swords, Mental Entrapment. One more. And the King of Cups. So, so there is definitely love and emotions here with uh, King of Cups here. So I feel like maybe, you know, you have had or you you or your person has had some mental entrapment, maybe whatever you've gone through, blockages that you couldn't get over, you know, with the moon energy, just feeling like um, not secretive, but like you just couldn't see the light or see the path clearly. But then I think the tower universe steps in here and like zaps you out of it <laughs> kind of energy. And you're like, whoa, what was that? And now you need to, like, you've had a big epiphany. Like, okay, this is my soulmate, my person. And maybe you just need to take some time to deal with that energy. And now the king, queen of cups doesn't matter. Just in tune, in touch with their emotions, knowing there's love, emotions, feelings, compassion, healing energy, intuitive energy. And knowing, okay, yep, I love this person and this is my person. And uh, I thought about it. And now I want this person as my soulmate. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the King of Pentacles. So, you know, being um, stable and grounded, abundant, prosperous kind of energy. Six of Wands. So there you go. Success and victory. After a period of juggling, I think there's a lot of imbalance and juggling here. But now realizing it's a very strong uh, connection here with the strength energy. 
and leading to commitment. Could be possible commitment marriage down the road here. Yeah, there's been some endings here previously, but now committing, recommitting, new commitment, uh, marriage ceremony could be because you've got the twin flame card along with the Hierophant, so soulmate commitment kind of energy after there were some endings. But realizing, you know, your strength, your courage, your bravery, realizing how much of a strong bond this is after, you know, juggling things around, feeling imbalanced, but now having success and victory moving forward, being very stable and grounded uh, for the long term here, abundant, prosperous with the King of Pentacles energy. So for the other signs I see besides Leo, Sag, and Aries, I do see Scorpio. I do see, um, what is this here now? We got the Emperor and the Empress. So we got Aries and we have Libra Taurus, Leo Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius. Um, let's see here. Pay Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Cancer Pisces, Aries. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And under the deck here, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Leo. Taurus. So those are the other signs I see. So it could be, you know, anybody. But I feel like you can rely on this person. Uh, they can rely on you. Very trustworthy, reliable, stable, grounded energy. Um, definitely love and emotions, passion. All right. Divine couple here, the Emperor and the Empress. So let's get some closing messages here for you, Libra. I do ask Libra, if you're new, you like my style and how I read, please do check out my channel. If you like what you see. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. So let's see what we have here. Our Lady of the Sacred Sun. So this is um, Sacred Sun, of course. This is the Mary Magdalene, um, Mother Mary Oracle. So her sacred son, of course, was Jesus. So, you know, this is a very mothering, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. 15, that's six. That's going to a more healing, balancing energy. So I just want to read a little bit about um, her and what she means here. Um, so it says here, you carry this divine flame of love within... So this is sort of like Mary, Mother Mary, talking to um, you. So, and talking to like her son, my beloved son, my Christ lives in your hearts for you are the sons and daughters of love. The Christ is a conscious of love that belongs to every human soul and will awaken in those that are ready to receive it now through my grace. I ask you to realize that you carry this divine flame of love within for you, my sons and daughters, it is time for a divine awakening of sacred masculine energy within you now. Just as I birthed the Jesus, the Christ child through love, so too will you birth enlightened divine masculine energy through the love and power of the divine feminine now. This is your time for sacred birth. So I did feel divine, and I said that, divine counterpart. So we have the masculine and the feminine. So that is just confirming that. And then we have Our Lady of divine presence which is 14 which is five and i feel like this is a divinely guided um connection here so let's just see so we got 14 15 wow so uh you have been preparing to receive me opening your heart and clearing away past shame and doubt and i feel like this side has been doing that um, you have been asking for the divine light to be with you and i will tell you now and here's a divine light coming in here with the tower epiphany uh, realization moment I am alive within you. Your wish to serve the world, to be blessed by my light so that you can assist others is granted. As you open your heart and mind to me, your every touch becomes my touch. Your loving gaze holds the light of my own eyes within it. My grace lives in you, flowing through you into the heart of the world. Wow. Divine connection here. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom here. Our Lady of Holy Fire. Wow. And we got fire here. I can't make this up. And nine and three, which is 12, which is three again, which is about working together, teamwork, compromise, collaboration, kind of energy, like working through this together and make modifying, compromising and just working it out and making it work. 
Wow, Libra. Okay, Libra. Uh, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.